What, what are you? What are you chewing? Give that to me. You have a strong jaw. Hey guys, it's me. Who am I? I'm Beth Voigt, John Voigt's daughter. I'm just kidding, <laughs> not. I'm Beth Voigt's daughter, but I am Angelina Jolie's sister. Welcome to My Damn Channel Live for Wednesday, May 9th. We have a super exciting show for you today. David Cross is going to be a special guest and he'll be answering comments and tweets with me later in the show. So if you have questions for him, tweet them, comment them now. We are really doing this live. Now watch this. I'm gonna show that we're doing it live and we're gonna answer them because I'm gonna answer a comment right now from YouTube. This is from Jansen Cox 93 Beth. I love you, Beth. You're totally awesome. <laughs> lots of caps, lots of exclamation points. That was live. I didn't write it, I swear. I don't think my mom has that handle, so I think we're that was live. That happened. You see how easy that was? Tweet me at the Beth Hoyt, hashtag my name channel live, or ask a question in the live comments. Be a part of our democracy. Do something for God's sake. Okay, first up though, it's a very special Madam Channel original comedy premiere. After four years, Donnie Hoyle's back, and he is just as supportive and patient as ever. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy a brand new episode of You Suck at Photoshop. My name is Donnie, and you suck at Photoshop, but that's not a me problem, that's a you problem. First of all, I'd like to extend an honorable mention to all of the kinder shoppers who didn't fudge their pull-ups when I asked them to help me spread the, the word to my attorney that the ad we created was placed in legitimate advertising places and that we fulfilled our obligation in, in trade to our lawyer. So. Congratulations, D minus, you passed. But now it's time for you to take a journey. It's time for both of us to take a journey. Let's open up a photo, a photo that says, a second chance has begun. A photo of a cat that your ex-wife rescued without telling you and turned your house into a shit aquarium and it, it created all sorts of turmoil but now has returned to you across many continents and tens of thousands of leagues to bring you a token a ring a ring whose powers had once been only used for evil but now we know can can be used once more for good and and so we want to create an image that says the ring bearer has returned the ring to its rightful owner and and he is going to return to reclaim his throne and we want to put the ring on a pedestal to say i'm ready to love i or i'm at least i'm ready to spoon and listen to ashford and simpson we've got to start somewhere so grab the marquee tool and select a rectangle of the stone floor we're going to use a tool called Ripussy. And we're going to duplicate the background, go to 3D, Repussy, current selection, and Photoshop is going to turn this into a 3D object. A 3D object that we can manipulate in space and, and actually turn into this stone pedestal, one that is worthy of the, the power of the ring that sits upon it. And we can, we can use the 3D manipulator tool to turn it in space to uh, to scale it change its size to to even move it back uh, against the wall in, to suggest that it's leaning up against there and we can even change the materials we can change the shape the bevels and and all sorts of details here is something I'm sure your almond sized brain is in incapable of understanding. The materials I created, this material from some of the stone wall, we won't take the time to clean this up. We would make it look incredibly awesome, of course, but time is of the essence. And so we want to place the ring upon the pedestal. And Putai, can you? No, you, you can keep my robe but I, I want my members only jacket back. Our journey begins momentarily. 
And now we want to do something bold. Bolder than a cat traveling 17,000 miles to bring a ring back to its rightful owner. We want to create a challenge. A challenge to the man and his son. The only two people who are standing in the way of our happiness. The only two people that we need to take care of. Do uh, uh, uh. Yeah, hey, you suck at Photoshop. Did you guys know that the entire series is available on our website? No joke. You need to watch You Suck at Photoshop from the beginning if you haven't seen it yet. Go to mydumchannel.com and check it out. But not yet. We have more show for you right here. Okay. Right now we have another My Damn Channel original premiere. Now, Mom, you, you're gonna wanna close the tab for like maybe a minute or two. You, 15-year-old boy, you're gonna wanna call your friends over right now. It's another episode of Co-op of the Damned with Sexorcist. Take me to her. Honey, there's someone here to help you. Untie me, you worthless no-deck loser! The power of Christ compels you! Ah, screw your help! I'm Satan's whore! I'll kill you! I'll kill your family! I'll feast on your boners in hell! Ah, uh, cast out, uh, ye vile serpent! I'll claw your flesh. I'll suck you off. I'm sorry. Did you say I will suck you off? Maybe you should wait outside. What? Really? Yep. What? I mean, right I really, outside. I right maybe here. I should, right uh, there. Well, okay. You're the expert. Things are about to get uh, real sticky. Whoa! Oh! That woman is full of hellfire. Is she cured? I'm gonna have to uh, call in some colleagues. She's a bit of a handful, if you know what I mean. I don't know what you mean. Yeah. I'm gonna wait in there. Right, it turns all the way around. Hey, weren't you wearing pants when we went in there? <laughs> I'll get it. I'll get it. Thanks, man. Excuse me, Father, but what the hell is going on here? Hey, language, son. I'm a priest for Christ's sake. Uh oh, I'm sorry. You should be. Hey, let's let these guys through. Come on. There we go. Dominic, Marco. All right, we're setting yeah, up on the right. Careful when you point that thing. It's okay. Is it over? What? Oh, yeah. Uh, whatever. I'm starting. Honey, my God. You're okay. I will never let you go through that again. What are you talking about? They're coming back tomorrow. You mean... I don't understand. You're still possessed? Possessed? I was never possessed. What? Now untie me, you worthless no-dig loser. Now that's what I call interfaith healing. I'm sorry, and you're welcome. Hey, have you guys sent your David Cross questions in yet? Do it, do it now. Tweet me at the Beth Hoyt, or just dump them right into the live YouTube comments. It's so easy, it's stupid, stupid easy. While you're sending in your comments and your questions, I wanna share with you 
This Craigslist ad I found when I was looking for a roommate. Check this out. It says, <clears throat> okay, seeking room to grow wheatgrass. Mature, clean, and respectable. Seeks roommate who's into sprouts and health conscious foods. Okay, I like, I like wheatgrass. I have no issues with sprouts, health conscious foods. I like it. Guarantee you, I hate that person because they need room to grow their sprouts. That said, I bet that sprout freak would still be a better roommate than Dan St. Germain. Who's Dan St. Germain? He's an amazing comic and the star of our next Madame Channel original comedy premiere. It co-stars the great Christian Finnegan as well as Jordan Carlos of MTV's hit series, I Just Want My Pants Back. Here is Kicking Dan Out. Hey, what's going on, roommates? Dan, can you sit down? Holy shit. Is this an intervention? No. Give me a second, give me a second. I had to smoke crack to suck dick. Other way around. I'm sorry, I'm nervous. You guys put me on the spot here. Dan. Kicking Dan out, kicking Dan out, kicking Dan out, kicking Dan out, whoa, whoa. We're kicking you out. No, it's cool. I'm totally addicted to hydrocodone. It's not just because you're a drug addict. What else? You haven't paid rent in three months. Well, it's fucking Lehman Brothers' fault. If they hadn't collapsed and I hadn't lost my job... Uh, you were a janitor and they fired you way before the crash. Because I saw it coming. Uh, I think it was because you called a woman in a wheelchair a f it. She was being a f it. What? If you're handicapped, you're not allowed to be a f it? It seems pretty narrow-minded, Jill. You're such a bad person. John, how about you? No. You, you tried to fuck my girlfriend when she came to visit. I was just giving her a whore test, man, for you. Oh, oh. Turns out she's just really stuck up. Oh. So I'll help you pack, even though I'm pretty sure all you have is a book on flipping houses and a Bud Light t-shirt that says, uh, Beware Penguins. Oh, okay, not all of us have fancy dress shirts or, or Blu-ray or medicine or Google, Todd. It's Tim. Tim! Todd, whatever. I've been kicked out of four places this year. Four. And that's not even counting the time I got thrown out of Lady Foot Locker for eating a muffin. This place is great. There's no water that leaks on me and, and bugs and I, I'm not having that dream where I'm, where I'm driving a bus and we're trying to get the kids to heaven but, but, but the kids don't know they're dead so I've got to tell them they're dead. And we're so close to the park. <clears throat> I'm sorry. My dad treats me like shit, I got a weird body. Yeah, we're done. I just want you guys to know, you were never second to this. Thanks, Dan. Hey, Jill? Yeah? Fuck you, I was talking about the guys. You're, you're gonna take that cat, right? He's been dead for three days. and you're watching my damn channel live. This is Adjustment Bureau. Make mayhem! Make mayhem! But you said no, no, he ain't playing! If you don't mind, I'm with the Adjustment Bureau. Go ahead. I'm gonna do some minor adjustments if that's all right. All right, perfect. I'm adjusting people all day long. Oh, thanks. I'm with the Adjustment Bureau. I went to FIT. I, I know about fashion. Women look at your shoes and also women look at your dick. So you want your dick and your shoes to be just right. Because you never know when you're gonna run into that butt that makes you want to jump up and down. How do you say McMahon in Korean? McMahon. True. Now uh, take the jacket off. No. No, please, 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 please. Ah, Ar Ar put your arms up. Put your both arms up, both arms up. <laughs> you know, it's a sunny day, you're wearing a nice belt. It's a little punk rock, it's a little chic. Can I please just button one of your buttons for you, please? No. Just one? No. Just one? No. I can't push your buttons? Now, you could take one of these earrings out and just floss with one of these earrings on the left, just to keep a gangster on one side. Come on, you guys are shining stars, let me shine your glasses. Let me shine your star! Look at me, real quick, this is gonna be your last second. No, really, no. No, 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 wait. No hair, Joe, please. When you go to the party tonight, you're not gonna have any boogies. Check this out. We have a winner. Ooh. We need deodorant. Tuck it in. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Okay, all around, all around, all around, all around, all the way around. You've been adjusted. Gotta get rid of that hat, though. For me, for the world, okay. and for Ed Hardy.
David Cross, you guys. Hello. David, thank you so much for being here. Sure. I like this place. It's adorable. Yeah, it's so cute. Now, everyone knows you from Mr. Show with Bob and David and Arrested Development mm -hmm. and increasingly poor decisions of Todd Margaret, but I'm, yeah. not here to, I'm not here to talk about, you know, questions and your stuff. We're here to just Why did really... you put a, a parenthetical around, or a quotation marks around questions? Because it would they feel... would be questions. I know, but it would feel like that to me. Some, you know, some, that's just a, that's a, an ism of mine. Okay. It's, a, it's it almost like, like you're, had... like this part of your hand is dancing. It's a, it's a twitch I have. Okay. It's a, Sorry, this then. isn't I about me. This Sorry. isn't about me. Nope. I want to get to what's in here. I just really want to cut to the chase. All right. Yeah. So, like, how much cash you had gotten there? Uh, no cash. I'd oh, be okay. a fool to keep cash here. Some notes. Oh. oh. Uh, take my girlfriend to Artisanal. Oh, okay. good. About good, that. good note. Uh, you my that, uh, my car is parked on John, just past uh, Jay, okay, near, and right it near Punta Bianco. It is a red Pontiac Sunfire. No. Uh, also, the shirt I saw in North Carolina the other day about skip stations, mm. um, which is a skip roping thing. I assume it's gay. I don't know. Yeah, um, which you're fully in support of. You heard it. And uh, oh, the sign that the guy in Georgia put up, my home state, that said he owns a bar and he put a sign up that says, "I do not support that nigger in the White House." That's my home hometown, my yeah, home folks. Yeah, holler, holler to the hometown. And so, uh, well, right, there's more. Right. Oh, sure. Um, I I don't mean to interrupt. Raleigh, clearly. Is All right, that's it. Great. So um, underneath that pocket is, I believe, there's a heart back there. I mm -hmm. want to get right into that, and here's the deal. Um, the way to just cut to the chase of, like, who you are inside is to find a, a survey by teenage girls. Mm -hmm. So we found this. This is for my friend Emily the Braves Tumblr. Everyone's passing it around and reblogging their answers. So we is really she really thought, your friend? Yeah. She's a good friend. She's a good friend. Okay. I thought we should, um, you know, just get in there and, and then re reblog this and uh, reblog your answers. I want to just warn you that okay. some of these questions are intense. Okay. So I just, uh, How old ready? is Emily? She, it's... It doesn't matter. She's a teen. She's so between 16 and, and 36. Okay. All right. Okay, so um, the first question, we just randomly chose, there's like a list of 50 questions. Here we go. Have you ever been told you were amazing? Um, yes, I have, yeah. <sighs> Um, That's so great for you. It was a long time ago. I wasn't that uh, uh, cognizant. It was during my bris. Mm. Uh, and I believe I was eight days old, but okay. um, the Moyle uh, said that to me, Whis whispered it in my ear. And you do have, do you have the faint memory of it, or, or someone has told you this, this story's been passed down to you? Uh, I'll, I'll be honest with you. The, it, I do have a faint memory, and I don't know whether I have conjured that. Mm. Or, um, or, or t this thing that has been told to me so many times. Um, but I will say this also, uh, I ride my bike through Williamsburg sometimes, and I, other Moyles at this age have told me the same the thing. Sa that same, those same two words. Yeah. So you, you protected yourself early on with giving yourself that vote of confidence with it ejecting that memory and now it's reaffirmed by all of your fans yeah I guess well I can't say that they're fans and they most of those guys don't know my work and uh, speak broken English oh. but, um, I think I assume they're it's fans. just okay all right or fans in a different way sure of, of different qualities that I have very positive outlook okay. this is good we're getting there we and you, might get and you guys in a second. Uh, at home should look up the word moil because then you'll really have a good laugh yeah you can do it right now you can you know they're on the internet Mm -hmm. Just, or go to your go to your dictionary book. Next question: um, What's something that bothers you about girls? Um, I guess they're uh, they're they sound dumber because their uh, voice is higher pitched. Mm. And um, yeah, I know what you mean by that. <laughs> I hear yeah. And so yeah, uh, when a guy says something stupid as opposed to a girl, they could both equally be inane comments about mundane nothings, but the girl will sound a little dumber, uh, okay. especially if it's in that sing-songy uh, it, it question, up, the, up, the question up, mm -hmm. lilt, up tilt the, thing. Up the end, the, the tilt up at the yeah. end. What's that? Yeah, the, uh, you know that. The, the vocal umlaut. Mm. But also the same can be said with guys when like when like the stereotype is that they say something like this like that that's always dumb. It's always dumb. Yeah. Uh, I'm no, I'm saying they're both dumb. Yeah. It just sounds a little dumber. It's unfortunate. Uh, yeah. But and I mean and that and it sounds more annoying. Yeah. Oh, I know. That sounds more annoying. I know. Uh, that that's kind of annoying. Yeah. 
but they that's not like that as annoying. Yeah, you could uh, you could hang with that guy a little longer. Then you can hang with that guy. And you could probably tell the guy to like shut up, and he'd be like, whatever. And the girl would be like, well, why? <laughs> yes. So okay. And you and you could like give a warning hit to the guy. Yeah. And, and if you, you hit can't the do girl, that girl. No, no. It's the whole thing. Yeah. No. Next question is, uh, where is the biggest scar on your body? Um, I'm going to guess it's the liver, uh, just out of uh, the abuse of the last uh, sure. 48 years. But yeah. um, an internal scar. Yeah, the external it would be. I've uh, on the bottom of my foot. I have uh, some stitches where I was in Hawaii, and there was a red flag thing, and there was a. It's a long story, not but a, not a figurative. No literal red mm -hmm. flag. Like mm -hmm. you can't go. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and uh, I went out went anyway, um, and then there were, uh, it, was, I, it was one of the very few times I thought I might die, and I had time to think about the possibility of dying. But anyway, I had Oof. to make it, I had gone way off course, and I had to kind of time my way back onto shore, but it was all lava rock, there was no beach or uh -oh. anything. And so I just kind of went for it, and I went flying. And I cut up my uh, cut up the bottom of my feet and my hands and stuff, and so that's probably the biggest scar is on the bottom of my uh, left foot, right foot, left foot. Ouch! Good story. Intense. Intense. That's, that's the death. biggest scar. Yeah, I mean, it's it's helpful when it, when your biggest scar story is a near death story. It was pretty crazy. It was uh, it was nuts. Yeah. Good. Well done. Next question. Who do you think is the most attractive actor? John Lithgow. Very affirmative. I mean, like, just you knew exactly. Oh, John Lithgow, yeah. One hundred percent. Absolutely. I'm not going to argue with that. I mean, yeah. obviously, you have your answer. I would, I would total, totes make out with him. I until I don't mean to. Okay, I don't mean to say this, but do you, I, John Travolta would have maybe been my answer until I don't mean to be topical, but I did write him a letter as I was saying in high school. That usually used to be my go-to answer. Said, oh, I don't, I don't think you said high school. I think you said when I was a kid, back. Uh, you just. <laughs> That's a little bit more embarrassing. That's all High the time we have for that part of the thing You today. said when I was a kid. That's all the time we have. When I was but, a kid. Um, just... You were in high school. <laughs> Come we're on. just going to, we're going to, um, we're going to, uh, you know what? For the uh, record, I wrote John Lithgow several letters when I was in high school. Okay. Thank you for putting that out there. And that's mm -hmm. all the time. We have the Tumblr questions. But don't you worry, you guys, we're going to be retumbling the answers and paying that forward. And now, um, you know, you've worked with a lot of attractive actors, as well mm -hmm. as some, probably some ugly ones, and a bunch of them are in this series, which maybe some people have never seen. It's called Pilot Season. It's one of my favorite series on the My Damn Channel archives, and we've got a clip from your performance in it. We're gonna check it out when we get back. How many time. series on the uh, archives is, are there? It's like 30. Really? Yeah, yeah. check it out. Okay. When we come back, it's time for Internet Q&A. Mm -hmm. Gotta be a lot of excitement here, huh? Being on a uh, studio lot. You got this thing here. Hey, what? Max. Hey, Ben. What are you doing these days? What? Uh... You know, I got this gig. I yeah. Got this new gig. Yeah. Pretty sweet. So, uh, who's representing you now? Oh, nobody. I got this gig on my own, man. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, maybe, hey, totally. Let me give you. Uh... Hey, man. I'm the guy you want to uh, follow. I got. I got some crazy shit happening. I'm going to Bethesda, Maryland, back home. You want to talk about a nut, mom? My mom is nuts. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me go uh, to Bethesda with me. Yeah, let me uh, let me give you uh, my card. I you know I'm with big management. Maybe we can uh, work out something. We'll take that. Great, great. Yeah, give me a call. Definitely. Right. Wow, you're doing pretty well here, huh? Yeah, this shit is awesome, man. It's got a bed, got a got a got a kitchenette, got magic beads, oh, oh, you know. No, no, no. Um, and you got like a sink, uh, 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 microwave. If you want to see some interesting stuff, forget this guy and and hang out with me, man. Because I got, I'm, um, dude, I got two tickets to the Pro Bowl in Hawaii, trying to get them. Hey, hey. Uh, this is this an old friend of mine? This is a, a, yeah, we, uh, a we documentary got a crew. crew. Doing a documentary on me. Who the f do you think you are going in the trailer? Who the f do I think I am? Because I know who I am. 
Who the f Where'd you get that drink? From Drinkland. Where the f do you think I got it from? The refrigerator. What do you, you give a you, shit? You hey, took man, that drink. I left a dollar for him. You don't come here in front of my my friends and and family and and and, and try to embarrass me. I'm no, leaving. No, you don't go in the trailer. My get book. Where all right, go? let me get my book, book back, bitch. Come at me. Come at me. Hey, there you go. Listen, pal, you're fired. Max, I need a ride. There it is. How was that? Trip on memory lane a that little was, bit. That uh, was, we had fun doing that. I had a lot of fun. Yeah, it looks like Sam. it was fun to do. Yeah, and that was based, there's a, uh, there's a, that was a series based on a short, or not a short film, but a film that Sam did with all those characters where all those people you saw reprise their characters. Yeah. Um, awesome. You guys should check it out. It was fun. Check the whole thing. So now it's time to you know get all love 2.0 and respond to your live tweets and your YouTube comments and all that stuff. And the first thing we have is from Facebook. It's a question. I know Facebook. You I know Facebook. It. All right, we're on board. It's from Stacy Perrick. Will he have another collaboration with Bob Odenkirk? Uh, well, Stacy uh, and Beth. Yes. And I didn't get your name. June. June, Asian gentleman in the corner. Um, I, Bob and I are actually going to publish a uh, series of uh, our sketches and scripts that never got made, oh, cool. uh, and they're going to be annotated. It's it's with uh, it'll be with um, Grand Central Publishing, and uh, and then we'll be Bob and I will be doing something around the uh, uh, when that book comes out. Um, and I'm sure we'll be doing live stuff and whatnot. So we're doing That's very here. exciting. Um, I'm really I'm yeah. We uh, Bob and I will have talked about it, and um, we're kind of waiting for some uh, projects that we're each doing to kind of get finished, and then we will work together on new stuff. That's so exciting. Okay, a Tumblr question from um, Gloria V. Lopez: What was your favorite film slash show you were a part of? Fave. Um, I guess. Uh, the Chipmunk series, yeah, you know, uh, just give me really a positive lot of, experience. A great experience. Mm -hmm. um, and what, what you're most known for? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank God. Um, yes. Uh, and I suppose um, when I, I played reporter number three, mm -hmm. here we go. I played reporter number three uh, on the Amelia Earhart story. And that sure, was, sure. Uh, enriching, and I did a lot yeah. of background study for my character mm -hmm. and stuff. Um, I went to Columbia University for four years, got a degree in journalism, mm -hmm. uh, came back to the set, they had wrapped, mm -hmm. uh, they had finished, they were and you, you just on the, gone. The debt from the, Excuse me? So the debt from the schooling probably is a constant reminder of all that research. Yeah, and yeah. But, uh, but now I'm a practice journalist and I can, uh, you know, I can... Have you ever been employed as a journalist? Uh, for the Rhode Island Gazette, yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. Sure. Where I pretended to work for the New York Times. It's a complicated. Thing. Sure, it sounds great. But thank, yeah, that's thank you. Excellent. A comment, a comment from YouTube is from Ultra, Ultra Wirt. Ah, question. Uh, will I think you be it's performing? Ultra Wirt. Oh yes, exactly. Will you be performing anytime soon in Los Angeles, like at Setlist or something? Um, I, I added that. I did. <laughs> didn't mean to do that. Ultra oh, List. Nice. I didn't. Uh, I don't know what Setlist is. It sounds, uh, it sounds fun, but. Uh, I, I have no plans, but I suppose next time I'm in LA, uh, I've started to get out, get out and do sets now more and more, um, and trying to accrue, you know, time for a new uh, enough material for a new tour and stuff. That'll be a ways away, but um, I yes, next time I'm in LA, I will do. We that. want it. We want it. Oh God. <laughs> One sad it's little fan deep, somewhere. It's deep, it's inside me. It's, it's constantly in my belly. It's so hard. It's so hard. Just wait it out. Just wait it out. We have a tumble tumble question. This is from Yum Chocolate Milk. Uh, what was your favorite part about working on Arrested Development? Are excited to be back. Um, I loved working with that cast. That was one of the the dream cast of all time totally. and uh, and I loved that character that's a it's very rare you get a character that that's uh, that much fun um, and so r many great lines to do and I am uh, very very excited to to uh, work on it again and see those guys every time we get together for some sort of reunion -y thing it's always it's always fun it's always great and uh, really looking forward to it. and I know I speak for everyone else too yeah so. And everyone else who wants to see it. So that's good news all around. 
Thank God. Every, it's a win-win situation. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. The Avengers rule the Earth! <laughs> I'm fine. I'm sorry. I'm fine, you guys. Um, Bumski. That's all the time we have for that. Okay. <laughs> did I hurt you? I'm sorry. No. I did feel a little... I felt, yeah, I could... It's cracked. No, it's it's But it's I, got, I got the meaty part. It's a, it's a it's a break I'm gonna cherish, and I have a great story. I did not break your hand. I'm fragile. Beth. I'm fragile, and uh, I can't have dairy, so I'll my say. bones are brittle. Um, but okay, you guys remember that I'm gonna be hanging out on Twitter for the show. So if you have more questions for David, just tweet them my way, and I'm gonna speak on his behalf. I can't use my right hand anymore to type back. We're gonna Wait, figure it I'm, out. I'm done, right? I do I. Uh, just I hang can you out sit with more? me for like one more minute while I finish up? Oh my God, you people, all of you. You too, John. This has been... David, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Beth. Okay. No, thank you, Beth. You guys, up next is another Modern Channel original comedy premiere. It's the John Freeman Internet Program with Hasbro. Hasbro? Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, do you like right, it? I I'm, love this I'm one. On okay, cool. Right. Watch it, guys. It's the John Freeman Internet Program on your worldwide bed. No, 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 please. Call me Jeff. Mr. Potato Head is my father. It's the John Friedman Internet Program. On your worldwide bed. Oh, sorry. Work lives. We'll wrap up for the afternoon. Right after you two tell us about your big vacation in Connecticut. Oh, yeah. <laughs> First weekend away is a couple. Yeah. <laughs> Separate rooms. Oh, no. <laughs> no, actually, this is actually kind of exciting. One of the nights of the trip, we stayed in the birthplace of Hoover Cleveland. Yeah, historic. It was so interesting. Really mm -hmm. nice. Who's Hoover Cleveland? 22nd, 24th president of the United States. <laughs> oh, I, I think you mean Grover Cleveland. No, it's Hoover, I'm sure. Of it. Yeah. Ten bucks? Sure. Right. Yes. 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 Okay. All right, I am, I am Googling yeah. Hoover Cleveland. Okay. See yeah, camera. see, look. Grover, Grover, no. Grover, Grover, Grover. Yeah, it's, oh. it's Grover. Oh, here's, here's a Hoover right here. Oh, click on that. He All could right. be a little yeah, yeah, known yeah, yeah, president. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Half right. All right, here we go. Let me clean up the Oh, wow, oh. that is not uh, Hoover. <laughs> or it's not. <laughs> my God. I'm sorry. Scott, click on something oh, else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. gross. I was just about to. Just look over there. Video is pretty crazy. Click on it. Okay. No, should don't I? Click on it. No, Scott, don't. Okay. Okay. I'll, I should turn this off. Yeah. Oh, God. No, no leave it. That's no, pretty but, gross, though. Yeah, no, it is gross. Okay. But we should finish it. Okay. 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 I have to never seen this. Okay. 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 Okay
Sunday, Sunday. Prepare to be forgiven at church. Slap on your Sunday best and kneel before our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now stand, now sit, now rise, now sit, now kneel in one of our many views. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Won't you come again? And remember, church is always free. Swing by early and confess your sins. Stick around afterwards for the Our Mother the Redeemer Catechism Bake Sale. Bake Sale. This Sunday, a special yeah. glorious performance by Pastor Chris. He has the fingers of angels. Don't miss it. Don't sloth around till Christmas or Easter. This is an event you can't miss. Because if you do, you go to hell. Unless you confess your sins, then you're fine. Light a candle, say a prayer, receive his body, taste his blood. All are welcome in the house of the Lord, except if you're gay. Ew. Afterwards, go right across the street to the diner for buttermilk pancakes. So go to church. Happening every Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Amen. What a show we had. Did you have fun? I can't hear you right now, but you tell me in a minute on Twitter and your voice will be heard. Thank you so much for hanging out. Daily Grace will be here tomorrow at 4 p.m. with the star of My Drunk Kitchen, Hannah Hart. And guess who's going to make it, be making a special appearance on tomorrow's show? I'll give you a hint. She has two thumbs, one working, and her name is Beth Hoyt. And I'll be back on Friday with the week's wrap-up. Until then, practice your poses in the mirror. <laughs>